Hey guys, it's Trout91 here, and today we're doing the LSW in the Custom Class Guide. And the LSW is a very interesting gun, and it's got a medium to high rate of fire and a medium to high rate of recoil, with unusual iron sights, I would say, but it has a very large clip size. Reloads pretty fast as well for that large clip size, does a great deal of damage in the best side on I would suggest the handguns. Now, when I play with the L86 and most LMGs, I go with the grip just for the lower recoil aspect of it. And my first perk is usually sleight of hand because the LMGs are very slow to bring up and aim down the sight, so I like that faster ADS, and sleight of hand is usually always good on LMGs. Stopping power causes the gun on the LSW to be a two hit kill with stopping power without it is free so I would suggest you could snipe with the L86 and commando now I don't usually approve of commando because it is pretty overpowered but the LMGs are very very immobile they're not very good at moving around they're not very practical so if I can get that little lunge in but I don't tend to knife very often I'll probably go with it and it's proven to help me in the past. Now, my first custom class for the alternate class would be the blinged out hardline steady aim class, simply because if I'm using a, a different perk that's not stopping power, I don't really want to rely on having to use the iron sights, because although they're pretty s plain and simple, they are fairly difficult to use at range, so I like the red dot sight and the grip for the lower recoil, because let's face it, this gun does kick quite a bit. And uh, when you're playing on large maps with, like, Wasteland, it can be a bit of a pain. So I do suggest the red dot sight or the holographic or the ACOG. Now, my third class would be the Marathon Approach on the L86. And you might be thinking I'm a bit weird, but I actually went a 50 and 5 on Terminal the other day using this setup. And I will tell you now, it is a very good setup, so don't think I'm very weird. I mean, the LMGs are very slow, so I like to put Marathon on it. Also, some things to note about the L86 is that, like all LMGs, when it, you put the extended mags on, it gets a 100% increase, unlike most guns, which is about a 50% increase in the, the magazine size. And when you actually put an ACOG on, it's not typically an ACOG. It's a, called a SUSAT sight. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, it kind of looks like a round circle toilet tube thing with a carrot peeler <laughs> stuck at the end. It's quite interesting, it's kind of like the TAR-21 and the F-2000, they're not really red dot sights, they're Mars sights, so those are a few unusual facts about this gun. And just, you want to try and get over that high recoil on this gun, because at a distance it's not great, and you really want to keep that into factor when you're using it. So, I hope you enjoyed that, the next gun will be the RPD, I will see you then, peace out.